Good morning. What's happening, bud? <laughs> Woo! Let her rip. 100% chance of Beagle this morning in the forecast. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the one thing that we can guarantee. Why didn't I bring him yesterday? It was 62 degrees outside. Now it's 38, and I got to sit out there with him. 38 degrees, so it does feel colder. Now, it's still not bad for this time of the year, but we've been so spoiled. I will say that we're in this roller coaster pattern. We're going way up. We're going somewhat down today and tomorrow, and we're going back up Friday and Saturday. So, roller coaster pattern will continue. We do have to go down, though. Unfortunately, roller coaster comes down. 38 now in Springfield, 43 in Branson, 44 down in Mountain Home. I actually think our high temperature hits a little earlier today. It might be like 1 o'clock, and you're going to start seeing the cooler air come in at around 2 or 3. With that being said, we're not going to warm up much further than this, really. Maybe, you know, 5, 6 degrees, but it is going to be a cooler day today. I'm watching this upper level disturbance up here. None of this is actually rain in the Rolla area, maybe some drizzle. I do think we could see a sprinkle along 54, though, maybe a little bit of a, a snowflake mixing in with that sprinkle. But we're not expecting heavy accumulation today. Most of that will actually stay in Iowa. But like I said, a little bit of a clip, and we also could see some more clouds from that today. North winds at around 12. Notice the winds are not out of the north down to the south. You have this cold front. Yeah, it's pushing in, but it's not all the way through the Ozarks. That's why it's going to be much colder north of I-44 and much warmer south of Branson. You'll still be in the middle 50s down in Branson, West Plains, and Mountain Home, where we broke all-time records yesterday in the middle 70s. We got into the upper 60s here in Springfield. So there's that upper-level disturbance we're talking about. Again, it's rolling right through Iowa and clipping our viewing area. So we might see a few showers to our north today. But uh, yesterday, the main story... If you have not seen this, there was a devastating tornado went right through the metro in New Orleans, and that was from our system. That you know, yesterday we had our own severe weather. We didn't actually have a tornado confirmed, but you can see all the tornadoes in the Louisiana area, also in Mississippi. Twelve tornadoes, and even Florida got pounded with wind damage. So it was an active day. Behind it, much cooler air. So cooler air is going to move in here. There's that upper level disturbance, still mild to our southeast because that cold front is draped right across our area. Best chance for rain will be the late morning hours. It could see a little mixed bag of precip, but it's so light that I'm not, uh, it's not going to be a major concern for the roads. We'll start clearing things out tonight, and then by the time we get into tomorrow, it's uh, sunshine, which means Canadian high pressure is going to be in place. What does that mean? It's going to be cold. So tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures drop to the low 20s. Tomorrow afternoon, you're at 40, and then check out Friday. What happens? Crank in the gasoline southwest winds. Bam, you're in the 60s. I'm going upper 60s, and Saturday could be in the 70s. 47 here today in the 50s to our south. More cloud cover north. Maybe a light shower today in Lake Ozark. 42 tomorrow, 68. Almost a guarantee record breaker on Saturday, 77. I would not be surprised to hit 80.